rule? I just clean the floor. It's probably fine, right? A lot of people swear by the five second rule, that if you drop a piece of food and pick it up before five seconds, it hasn't been on the floor long enough to pick up dangerous bacteria. Is that really true? To find out, we're going to need to do an experiment. It's time to science. To figure out if the five second rule is true, we need to test whether food dropped on the floor for a long time picks up more bacteria than food dropped on the floor for a short time. We'll start with a hypothesis. Food picked up after five seconds will collect fewer bacteria than food picked up after 50 seconds. But we have a little problem. Microbes are much, much too small to see with the naked eye. This makes measuring them a bit tricky. What we're going to have to do is grow the microbes into colonies large enough to see. To do this, we need some sort of incubator that can maintain a nice, warm temperature of 37 degrees Celsius that bacteria would happily grow in. Think you need a lab to do this? Nope. Building a DIY incubator is simple. I built one based on the home incubators people use to hatch chicken eggs. Take a standard foam drink cooler and cut a small hole in the side. Then plug a 25 watt incandescent light bulb into the hole as a heat source. To see inside, put a piece of glass from a picture frame into the top. Next, poke a very small hole near the bottom and stick a remote digital thermometer inside to keep tabs on the temperature. Finally, plug in the light bulb. The foam from the cooler traps heat in and lets the incubator get nice and toasty. Over the next day, cut a few extra holes in the sides as needed to release some of the heat and keep the temperature inside exactly where you want it. Okay, we've got an incubator. Now we need an experiment. I want to drop something fun, so I chose baloney. We're going to use a gel-like substance called agar to grow our microbes. It's made of algae and full of things that bacteria like to eat. In this experiment, I want to compare bologna that's been dropped for five seconds to bologna that's been dropped for 50 seconds. So I just need two groups, right? Wrong. After all, we don't know how clean our floor is and we don't know if our food will grow bacteria on its own. In the end, I need to culture six groups. I need one where nothing happened. That's my control. I need another with bologna that was never dropped to find out if it grows bacteria on its own. Then, I don't know how clean the average floor is, which means I need to compare both clean and dirty floors. I got one section of floor as clean as I possibly could get it. I used ethanol to kill anything on the surface. The other, I had a little fun with. I'll drop bologna on clean and dirty sections of floor for five and 50 seconds each. Once the auger is firm, it's time to start dropping food. Keep in mind, we wanna keep everything around the experiment as clean as possible to prevent foreign bacteria from interfering with our results. Wearing gloves in a lab coat can help. I'm also doing my experiment around a lot of lit candles. It's not because I love romance. It's because the candles draw the air upward, which means fewer bacteria from the air will settle on my dishes. I can't just do one plate per drop. I did a preliminary test to find out how many plates I need to run to get accurate data. I found out I'll need to run six plates per group to get a large enough sample. All right, it's bologna time. Now, we put our plates in the incubator and wait. Every 24 hours for the next three days, I take out my plates and photograph them. Then we can use the free software ImageJ to figure out how many microbes grew into colonies. My results show first that bacteria can grow anywhere. Even my clean control wasn't very clean. But they also show that five seconds just doesn't seem to matter. If you drop your bologna on the floor, you're going to suffer the bacterial consequences. Longer times might mean more bugs, but life finds a way onto your food. I'm not the only person to debunk the five second rule. Several studies have tested it. Heck, the Mythbusters even did it. And they all show that once food hits floor, microbes jump on board. Now keep in mind, just because there's microbes on your food doesn't mean you're going to get sick. Our guts are pretty good at fending off microbial invaders, but it's probably good to play it safe. So if you drop food on the floor, maybe it's best just to let it lie. <gasps> yeah, especially that. Need more details to do this yourself? Check out the links in the description. Got ideas for me to try? Put them in the comments. Thanks very much to Ian Sawyer and Claire Adrian Tucci for their help with this project. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome experimental goodness.